Now I have before me two laptops with a lot of competition between them. However, they come with slightly different spec outs, but they have very similar benchmark performance. We're gonna get into the benchmark performance in just a few minutes of the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus M16, and the, it's always backwards for me, and the Legion 5i Pro. Now, the Zephyrus M16 comes with the i9-12900H and RTX 3070 Ti, whereas the model I have before me of the Legion 5i Pro comes with the i7-12700H and the RTX 3060, but don't let that RTX 3060 scare you away. The Legion 5i Pro is one of the most optimized laptops with the components that it holds. So hang on to this video till we jump into the performance section in just a few minutes. First and foremost, let's cover some of the build quality differences, some of the feature differences, then we'll jump to the performance. Now, first and foremost, let's go ahead and look at some samples. So let's look at the webcams of both laptops. Each laptop does come equipped with a webcam. We're gonna to listen to the speakers playing some audio and then we're gonna have some use of the trackpad and keyboard decks. Here is the webcam on the Asus Republic of Gamer Zephyrus M16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is the camera on the Legion 5i Pro and a little audio sample for you as well. Now looking at the keyboard decks, you can see that the Legion 5i Pro has a numpad where the Zephyrus M16 does not. Now they both have great keyboards. They both have a medium to long key press, quiet, nice soft tactile feel. Um, however, if I'm gonna choose between the two laptops for the combination of the keyboard and trackpad, I'm gonna lean towards the M16. Now the M16 just has this slightly larger trackpad and I like the position of it being more in the middle personally. Now I do like the quick access into the ASUS command center, um, but we do have a lot of quick access buttons here along the top function keys on the Legion. I just like the keyboard and trackpad combination better over here. I'm personally not a numpad user, so that's what leads me that way. Now the screens are both a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 16 inch screens. The brightness is very similar on both of them, so really you can't go wrong with either screen. Note that the color accuracy and color gamut range is gonna be slightly better on the M16. You can see those results coming up on the screen now. But overall, they're two great panels. Some people may be more weary. The fact that the vents blow towards the screen on the M16 right at the bottom because the vent blows up towards the screen rather than on the 5i Pro where the air blows out the back. So again, that's more of a preferential thing. Um, now let's go ahead and do a quick open and close of the lid to see which one has the nicer open and close as well as a little bit of screen flex for those of you that do care about the screen flex. Getting them started, they both open and close smoothly. It's a little harder to grab the lip on the M16. The Legion 5i Pro has a nice lip to grab. And let's do a quick screen flex test here. This one has a nice stiff screen with that aluminum top cover. Let's check out the magnesium alloy. Magnesium alloy is a little bit more flexy. So remember we have an aluminum chassis on the Legion 5i Pro and a magnesium alloy chassis on the M16 with kind of this soft touch matte finish. If you're somebody who's prone to oily fingers, that might be a turnoff to you because the M16 does show fingerprints over time if like myself, you have oily fingers. Now the ports and connectivity are very similar. Quickly on the Legion 5i Pro on the back, we have two USB type A's and HDMI and a USB type C as well as our network port and power adapter and on the left side panel we have two USB type C's and on the right side panel we have our manual cutoff switch for our webcam our headphone jack as well as a USB type A so we have an extra USB type C and an extra USB type A 
on the Legion 5i Pro, so a little bit more connectivity. However, on the M16, we have the power port, HDMI, network port, USB Type-A, two USB Type-Cs, and a headphone jack. The extra port that we have compared to the Legion 5i Pro is the micro SD card slot. Um, so you're trading a USB, an extra USB-C and an extra USB-A from micro SD card slot. So it depends on the type of connectivity that you personally like. Now, as far as the weight and thickness is concerned, the lighter laptop is going to be the M16 just by a little bit, and it's gonna be slightly thinner as well. So if you're interested in more on the go friendly, the M16 is gonna give that slight edge there. Now, as far as the battery life is concerned, there's a lot of customization in the Legion 5i Pro's Lenovo Vantage Center, and there's a lot of customization in the M16's Asus Armory Crate Center. So they both have a lot of custom functionality. You can go to iGPU mode in both models to get more battery life. So they do the best that they possibly can with the i7 processors. If you're looking for max battery life, I would personally recommend the G15 over the M16. It just has that slight edge in battery life due to the fact that the Ryzen 6900HS is a slightly more efficient processor. However, the i9 12900A H is going to be a slightly better performing processor, especially matched with the RTX 3070 Ti. So just keep those details in mind. Now, as far as the thermals are concerned, both laptops have good thermal temperatures. The Legion 5i Pro has slightly better thermal temperatures than the M16. So if thermals are a concern to you, then the Legion 5i Pro would be a great choice. Now, as far as the upgrade path is concerned between these two laptops, you actually only have one swappable RAM stick in the M16. The other one is soldered eight gigabytes to the motherboard. However, on the Legion 5i Pro, you have two swappable RAM sticks. So the upgrade path is slightly better on the Legion 5i Pro versus the M16. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the performance benchmarks. As you can see with single core and multi-core inside of Geekbench, the M16 pulls slightly ahead of the Legion 5 i pro and as we move into cinebench r20 same thing but just the gap is slightly closed by the 5i pro it's getting a little bit closer there and then as we move into single core and multi-core for r23 uh, you can see that it, they're neck and neck as well on that test right behind each other so it's really interesting if you're thinking i9 versus i7 specifically inside of the 5i pro like i said it's so well optimized that it's almost as powerful as the i9. So it's really cool to see those performance optimization out of Lenovo's Legion series. Now looking at Blender, you can see the Blender test here. This is a new test that I started running again. I let go of Blender for a while and didn't run it. A lot of you have been asking for it, so I'm bringing it back and running as many laptops through it as possible uh, in the time being. So these charts will continue to grow in the amount of laptops that are on them. Now looking at Autodesk 3ds Max and Autodesk Maya, you can see the M16 really does well in Autodesk 3ds Max. However, in Maya, for some reason, I ran this I ran this multiple times, it dropped down the chart quite a bit. So if you're a big Autodesk Maya user, you may wanna go with the Legion 5i because it just showed off a lot better in Autodesk Maya. However, as we move back to PCC Creo, that M16 pulled right back up the charts and really topped out above the 5i Pro. And then in SolidWorks, we saw great results as well. The uh, Legion 5i Pro was right behind it, but it did edge it out. The M16 edged it out quite a bit. Now for After Effects, again, neck and neck, both have great performance. So really, in my opinion, it's coming down to your preferences as far as the functionality, the on-the-go friendliness, and the battery life is concerned because for as far as performance is concerned, they're really neck and neck. Now looking at to Photoshop, you can see that we score a 970 on the 5i Pro and a 1036 on the M16. Both scores are fantastic. I don't think you'll notice any difference between a 970 and a 1036, just to be really clear about those differences. Now, as far as drop frames are concerned inside of Premiere Pro, 4K had zero drop frames, 6K B-RAW, the M16 had the mid 148, where the Legion 5i Pro was in the mid 300s. You're not gonna notice a big difference there. So stoked to see this 6K playback at full quality, 
lowering and lowering the drop frames every iteration. Very happy with Intel 12th gen and how well it's handling 6K footage. Now looking at Premiere Pro, you can see that the M16 scored a slightly slower export time than the 5i Pro. Not a huge difference, so I wouldn't be overly concerned about that, but you can see there's a slight difference for the 4K export. Now looking at Premiere Pro for the 6K export, you can see about 14 minutes and 43 seconds out of the 5i Pro and about 15 minutes and 41 seconds. So a minute difference, getting a little bit more substantial there, uh, but this is 6K footage, so it's definitely pretty beefy stuff between these two laptops. But I'm just showing you that the Legion 5i is very optimized for an i7, even pulling in the uh, i9 here. Punch for punch, which laptop should you purchase? If you're into ports, then I would go for the Legion 5i. If you need a numpad, I'd go for the Legion 5i. If you don't want a fingerprint prone laptop, I'd go for the Legion 5i. Great performance, close to the same price point these two laptops are, and you really can't beat out the performance and legacy of this laptop as well as the upgrade path. However, if you're looking for something with a better audio experience, a larger trackpad, uh, a more modern looking laptop, magnesium alloy chassis makes it a little bit lighter. Looking into the screen, the screen has kind of a bigger presentation because it's not sitting on top of the keyboard deck because it sits a little bit lower for some reason. It just kind of stands out a little bit more, just more of a visual thing. And then you also have the ergo lift, which, you know, kind of gets ventilation below the laptop. However, as we saw in the thermal results, the Legion 5i Pro actually did a little bit better. So really, the decision is yours. They're so close uh, as far as the performance is concerned that it really breaks down to the usability of the laptop. So links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes if this video has brought you some value. If you're curious about the other comparisons I have with the Legion 5i Pro or the M16, links right here to check out the next video.